Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to catch off by one errors when using indexing. Off by one errors, sometimes called OBOE, I've never heard of that before, crop up when you're trying to target a specific index or a string or array to slice or access a segment or when looping through indices uh, of them. Uh, JavaScript indexes, JavaScript indexing starts at zero, not one, which means that the last in index is always one less than the length of the string. So if you have an array or a string that's three long, the length or um, the last index is equal to the length minus one. If you try to access an index equal to the length, the program will throw an error, index out of range, index out of range, reference error or print undefined. When you use string or array methods that take index ranges as arguments, it helps to read the documentation and understand if they are inclusive. The item at the given index is part of what's returned or not. Here's are some examples <clears throat> of off by one errors. Here we've got the alphabet. Uh, there we go. It's uh, a string with each letter of the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all the way to Z. And then we have a, we're allowing for a variable is of the, of L, E, N, which should be expanded out to length. Why make it L, E, N? So it's difficult to understand. Why do we make that? And then we set the, the variable of L, E, N equal to the length of the alphabet. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to say, if we let um, I, and then we're making a for loop, let I equal to zero, I is less than or equal to length, and then we're iterating through one at a time. Loops are too many times at the end. So if we console log here, the alphabet at I, I think that we'll have an error at the end because it's actually passed to Z, less than or equal to the length. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If it were less than, it would work. But because it's less than or equal to, it won't, doesn't work. Here, we loop too few times. So J is equal to 1. And we're actually missing the first character. So we're going to start at, you know, J is equal to 1. So the alphabet at position 1 is starting at the letter B, not A. So whereas this one's doing well in that it's starting with the letter A, because it's alphabet at I, which is equal to 0 on the initial one, it's not getting to Z. It's wrapping up on the Y. And so for here, it looks like they're doing it properly. This one's just right. So it's going to actually console log each individual uh, letter as it moves through. So first, the two indexing errors in the following function. Oh, fix the, the two indexing errors in the following function so all the numbers 1 through 5 are printed to the console. So here we've got count to 5, and we've got, it's not counting the first number, and it's getting an undefined at the end. So it's actually counting too far. So here we want to, we want to fix this line. So first off, we want it to console log out starting at position zero. So we set this to zero. And so now it's working better. We're counting one, two, three, four, five. Uh, first off, we're setting a string equal to one, two, three, four, five. And then we're setting the length of the string is equal to first five dot length. Uh, that's cool. Okay, yeah, so we're setting the length here. So in this string, it would be one, uh, one two, three, four, five. So first five dot length is equal to five. So while 0 is less than or equal to 5, well, what we want it to be is less than 5. So if we do it like that, you see we don't get an undefined at the end here anymore. Another way to do this is we could go um, length minus 1 in here, and that would give us the same thing, because we're taking the length, which is 5, and we're setting it equal to 4. So this would render out to 4, and 4 is fine here as well. But you want to use the, the length, because this... Uh, yeah, I mean, that works better. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this will pass the tests. Uh, yeah, this is just, you know, um, this is this is really important sort of concept to understand intuitively. Um, we're getting the length of this, and we want the index to stop before 5. So it's going, if, while i is less, while i is 0, is less than length, that renders true, so we go through. And then i becomes 1, because we iterate. 2 is less than uh, 5. Yes. Iterate. 3. Yes. 4. Yes. Um, is 5 less than 5? No, it's not. It's equal to 5. And so that's when this for loop is completes its um, conditional um, degree, of, like when it's going to run, and then it, it ends. And then once it ends, the uh, count to five is done 
uh, executing. And so our console reads out one, two, three, four, five. Anyways, hope this helps. Um, this is really important stuff, so I hope you guys got that one. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.